Oh. Hey. Oh. Welcome back to. Hey. My <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Alright, where we left off, we were getting ready to play some, some minigame. <laughs> Actually, that's not what this is. Never mind. We're not playing a minigame. <laughs> it's just an artifact. Welcome to Murphy's. Oh, he totally juked me out. Did you see that? I uh, yeah. I'm he he deserves brownie points. He deserved to kill me. If if he if that was in basketball, he crossed you up. He crossed me up. Yeah, he scored a goal. Got them touchdowns. Sports. We love sports. We don't care who knows. Football, football. Tennis, hockey, golf. Let's just play the damn game. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a lonely island. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. For, for those who are watching and didn't understand. We like sports and we don't care who knows. Football, 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 tennis, hockey, golf. golf. I've got to see that song live. Oh, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Copyright claim. Me. Hey, we can afford anything because we own Machinima, remember? <laughs> That's true. Machinima's bigger than Disney these days. <laughs> <laughs> got our own streaming service. We got uh, Machinima Park. <laughs> Machinima Park. We spent a lot of expense on Machinima Park. Right. I thought you were singing Jurassic Park for a second. I was. Oh. That's the problem. Well, at least I was picking up. That's the guy that killed me. So Whoa! This dude stinks up the bus. I don't like him at all. And I'm just looking at him. Man, he's hitting you with some crossovers, man. Oh my gosh. When did all these guys start playing Dance Dance Revolution? And why wasn't I invited? <laughs> Do you ever go to an arcade and there's that person that goes up to play DDR and like they you can tell they play it on a regular basis? And that they're doing it to show off. I don't usually go to arcades. I just had that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I had. I remember it was. Uh, it was uh, three BC, three days before COVID. <laughs> I was at an arcade, and there was this guy that was playing Dance Dance Revolution, and like my a couple of my friends were playing. And, uh, you know, they, you could like, they were okay, but like, you know, it was, they were, they were, they were, you know, kind of like average. And then this one guy goes up and you can tell he has a form for how he holds the bar on the back. And like, you could, t and it was like, it wasn't even like regular DDR. It was like a Korean version. Cause we were at like a Korean or like a, kind of like a Japanese arcade kind of thing. It was really cool. But like. It was just one of those things where you could tell this guy, like, played way too much. And, like, part of you couldn't help but be impressed, but the other part of you also couldn't help but wonder if he had friends. The answer was no. <laughs> and, then, and then you realized, wait, you really don't have to wonder. How good he is at the game answers that question. That paints the picture for you. <laughs> And it makes you just wonder how they're getting through the rovid. The rovid. Ma 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 my corona. I just realized myself coming up with all of these nicknames for it. Which now that there's going to be a vaccine rolling out, is going to do me no good. But that's fine. It's fine. When you say it's fine, but in reality it's not fine. Everything's fine! I feel like that's like the album of my life. I will have the album of my life. September 28th. 2020. Is when comedy died. And we it was owe it all thanks to you. you. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Let's go. Oh no. Oh frick, frick it's too late. Where'd he go? There he is. Now he's dead. I feel like the best prank would be to get this game for someone that lives in a super strict conservative Christian household and having a camera to see their mom react to seeing it for the first time. Because man, once a speck of blood drops and they realize the game takes place in hell. I mean, it took place on Mars up to this point. So it wasn't all hell. <laughs> it wasn't all hell. Man, this week of content is very much... David learns how hard this game is on this difficulty. <laughs> and it's also a much more laid-back week of Murphine. But you know what? That's okay. That's how we're rolling. We're winding down. It's that time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of, of the year. year. Your bank account's draining, your life is feel paining, but you're in good cheer. At least, that's what you think. <laughs> that's all I got. But Dude. the pain, let that just sink. Because <laughs> 2020 was one hell of a year. It just might stink. Yep. <laughs> there's another one of you? Wait, quickly moving on, there's another one of those things! Got you. Ain't no why, baby. Bye, bye, bye. I love Guns N' Roses. <laughs> I love Frank Sinatra. Checkmate. Checkmate. Fatality. Hey, Sean, do you remember when we were in super, super duper sync yesterday? <laughs> well, do you remember what we said? I don't remember exactly what we said. Well, it was something about poop. Yes. <laughs> that friendship. It was something about poop. Yes. <laughs> like, we were just rhyming, and you and I just both said the exact same rhyme at the exact same time. Oh my gosh, that was so funny, I, dude. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, same. But uh, that awkward silence we just had was my wife whispering in my ear, Saying, hey, you should bring up that story only for her to now find out I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, I think I did tell myself last night at the Christmas party that I needed to remember that so we could bring it up. But uh, well, apparently I need to start writing stuff down because my memory's getting old. Well, it's also the apparent reminder, too, of, and we've brought this up before, There is, there's no in-between where whenever we're making a joke, either we are on the exact same wavelength we're on a remarkably different page. Yeah, and that was the instance of we were we were together. Oh yeah. We had never like more been more or less on this show we aren't on the same page and one of us is looking at the other like you did not just say something like that. <laughs> I think that's what I think that's part of the magic of this channel. Mhm. Mm I mean it, magic's definitely working. True. Open sesame. Street. Welcome to Elmo's world. <laughs> I think we just opened that. Which means we're gonna do one of these. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Generally, if there's people to kill, you're going the right way. I say that all the time when I'm going to school. I'm blue, I'm dee, I'm die. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, we're playing Doom. 
Playing doom, dabble dee, dabble die, and dabble dee, dabble die, dabble dee, dabble die. I always thought, you know, if there wasn't like the the auto tune, that would just sound like someone doing a really terrible Bill Cosby impression. Well, blue, double D, double die, a pudding pop, double die, double D, double die. Welcome back to Murphy. <laughs> There's that opposite end of the, the, the joke spectrum we were talking about. Woo-wee! Man, we are falling apart at the seams this week, man. At the Sims. Dude, we should find a Sims game to play on this channel. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. goodness, that would be real fun. <laughs> We could do Sim City. We could call it Murphinopolis. Murphopolis. That was my original idea, but I wanted to include your name in it still. Eh. I'm willing <laughs> to uh to make a sacrifice. <laughs> so we just got a blue skull. I think we need to find a blue door now. Which it might be that's the yellow door. Blue door's down there. So we're on the right track. Down this way. Burger King. Ooh, there Have it, it this way. Try to put it in the thing. Oh, there's people to fight. Alright, I don't know if we fought one of these floating dudes yet. But uh here's Mr. Floaty Dude. It looks and like I'm a dead. It looks like a dragon that got decapitated. Yeah, it's like a flying meatball. That's what we're gonna call them now, is the flying meatballs. For some reason, that made me think of the Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman. I'm now going to fight the Flying Meatball. I'll give you five wishes. I'll give you three wishes. Make it... Oh, grenade. Make it five. Four. Three. Take Take it it or leave it. (laughs) Okay, then. I am getting messed up. That dude was ruining my night. Man, I wish Squidward was here to see this. Welcome back. When in doubt, we just quote SpongeBob. I'm always in doubt. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm life is a, in doubt. Yeah, life's an ever, ever going cycle of doubt. I see what you mean. Ha <laughs> Made an eye pun because I gouged his eye out. So we're playing Doom. <laughs> I'm not crazy, okay? I'm not crazy. He's crazy. No, I liked the pun. I just wanted to make a meme out of it. Do it for the memes. The memes. The memes. See, one mechanic... I'm not a fan of is um, depending and I guess it does make sense I just don't like it Um, for the chainsaw if you do it to a larger enemy it takes more juice out right and it sucks because the the big reason for the chainsaw and they expanded a lot more into it into Doom Eternal and people actually hated the mechanic is you would have to use it a lot more often because that's how you would get all your bullets right that is how I get my bullets in this game but it's not as um like forced upon right so that's why i'm going back and forth to it but but uh, i mean also my gun in the bottom right that's uh the, there's bars that aren't there and that's yep. how much my ammo is for it right but also oh darn i have to kill someone with a chainsaw right <laughs> like there are a few cooler ways to kill someone but also man you are running low on bullets, and I feel pain for you. Yeah. It's alright. In Cyberpunk, um, there's a... Because I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now, because it's awesome. But essentially, the the way, like, just to give, like, a short synopsis of, like, what you, like, what the, the world's like, it's a future game. And um, one of the things that the society has is called cyberware. And it's essentially the idea of replacing parts of your body with, like, these cybernetic versions. Like, it's like you would, like, replace your arms or replace, like, your legs or things like that to, like, 
enhance your body and like you know in this case to make yourself more of like a mech um um also there's a mission in the game where someone tries to upgrade their to do a cybernetic version of their penis and they have to go to a to a ripper dock to get it fixed and it's played by a youtuber named jesse cox so that's incredible but anyway (laughs) Um, so the premise is basically Deus, Deus Ex. Yeah, it's very similar to Deus Ex. Because that's what I played one of those games. Right. It, it's based off of a tabletop game. I think it was called Cyberpunk 2020. Um, but since we hated 2020 so much, yeah, but, we, but, they, they thought that ahead. Yeah. So um, the, one of the upgrades that you can get in the game is you can get what's called Mantis Arms or Mantis Blades. And essentially, you replace your arms with these with these long extended arms that have blades at the end of them, and you can just like swing your arms at people, and they're just blades. So you can switch between having your guns, and then like, all right, I'm gonna pull these out, and you just go to town, Swiss like slicing people up like they're Scottish. Scottish cheat, not Scottish cheese. <laughs> God, I, hey, Doctor Hill, you, you take your mojo, you keep your money, and I, I miss, get your cheese. I mix just Swiss cheese and cottage cheese to make Scottish cheese. Two of us in this room think this is way funnier than the other person in this room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Shanini. Take your cheese and your lucky germs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, how much of this is actually audible? We'll find out. To our Scottish viewers. Uh, I apologize. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool mechanic. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, that killed me. If you want to get tastes of our Scottish cheese, comment down below. <laughs> if you try our Scottish cheese. Oh man. I'll take some morphine with a side of Scottish cheese. Oh my gosh, David, I'm not going to lie. That might be the funniest thing that's happened to me on this channel. It's probably the funniest thing that's happened to you in your life. It's certainly up there. I'm sorry. (laughs) That killed me, man. Good stuff. So this game screwed me over a little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. Because I got the upgrade here and it filled all my ammo up. And now that I died, it took a lot of my ammo away. Oh, crap. (laughs) You did. (laughs) You did. Man, shout out to, shout out to your guy, man. The amount oh, of guns page up webs. he can carry at one given time. He's the Doom Slayer, my dude. The Doom Slayer, my doom. That's a band called Slayer, y'all. I was just going with what you were doing. I was singing Rain of Blood by Slayer. Sweet! They're, they're one of the, the heavy metal big fours. Oh, they're a K pop band. Yep. <laughs> the K pop legends. Slayer. <laughs> so, my wife and I were watching Letter Kenny today. Uh huh. And we were on the episode where he was like, or Steven was like, yeah, we're going to go see The weekend, But it's Tuesday. 
Yeah, but yeah, we're gonna go see the weekend. We're gonna see him. It's not the weekend. The weekend's three days from now. <laughs> Ooh, we got a, a chain gun. Yes. Hello. And now it's time. You say hello to my little friend, and also my gun. My little Baby. friend, sensitive. His name is Greg. I'm now almost out of ammo for that thing, too. <sighs> oh, now I'm invulnerable. There's no one around to shoost anymore. To shoost anymore? Yes. It's, uh, that's gold member. Oh. I thought we were having another Scottish Everyone gets closer memory. and the shoosting begins. <laughs> There's only two people I hate in this world. There are two kinds of people I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant... But other people's cultures and the Dutch. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sean Connery. That was Michael Caine. Same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost as bad as Scottish cheese. I'm Michael Caine. I'm Sean Connery. I play James Bond. <laughs> and so I took the bandages. It's like the one random line I love. I love saying from him. It's like a, it's like my go-to line from The Grinch is, "But what would I wear? What would I wear?" And now it's a completely different line. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say the line? No. For the children at home. But okay, but there's children in watching The Grinch. Yeah, and it's an audible. We had to watch that scene four different times before we completely realized, like, yep, that's what he's saying. There is a line in the in the in the in the Jim Carrey Grinch film that we it it ca caught all of us by surprise, and we all just paused as we realized that somehow this line was in the movie. And I want to say it so bad, but I can't. But just go to the, go watch the Grinch, the scene where they're on the sleigh, or on the, yeah, on, on the, on the sleigh. Is the, is that the, am I butchering? Yeah, okay. Sleigh. Okay. I just, I wanted to say sled. <laughs> um, and. They're riding down the hill. It would not have been the same if it was called Sled Ride. Yeah. Um, Santa Sled. <laughs> that would sound so much more lame. Um, the Grinch says something that is just unbelievable, but amazing. And you need to see it for yourself. It's on Netflix, I do declare. So give it a watch. You'll know it when you hear it. You may have to rewatch it. Oh, poop. I did the freaking double jump and it didn't work. Oh, people order our patties. I know. I always hated it. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. What? What are they selling? What? Boop. <coughs> <coughs> I like the, the random enemy that just runs by there is great. <laughs> he is the goat. Oh no, this is going to be your last run for the week. I mean, I don't want it to. It's because I suck at this part for some reason. He's dead. Why won't you die? <laughs> Bone it, sponges. I think I'm too aggressive right now, maybe. I don't know if that's the problem. I mean, you are playing Doom. You kind of have to play a little defensive here and there, though. Yeah, that's fair. And it's a, it is a tough... Doom's tough, though, man. I mean, you have to always be moving. Especially when you're on the, the higher difficulties, too. Uh-huh. Damage just stacks up a lot quicker. 
Yeah, your aim's got to be on point. Or on fleek, as the kids would say. You're welcome, kids. Yeah. What can we say, kids? Oh, except... my lord! And that <laughs> is the best possible way we could end this week's episode of Murphy. Oh. So with that... I hit a lantern and it pushed me off the edge. So with that... We should be recording next week, but if we do not, because of this thing called Christmas, y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year. Screw 2020, but we're glad that one thing that blossomed from it is this cool little channel. Is several movies such as, oh, yep, Murphy. Ciao. Ciao.